Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. <laughs> Sorry it's been a little while, but uh, man, I've been up to my neck in alligators. Uh, and this was supposed to be out at 5 a.m. this morning, and when I recorded it yesterday, I ran out of disk space, and I didn't catch the warning on my other monitor. And so I didn't get the video. Originally, I went from catch him up here to salmon salmon and uh, so I'm doing a return trip from salmon down to catch him but I had to use Truckee to get this one um, it's basically the same job in reverse the crawler tractor and I'm taking it down to the bitumen service location so I guess we've they're gonna fix this uh, thing up for the daily dairy farm here in, in salmon Bushnell uh, we got Smarties uh, Peterbilt 350 from the Steam Workshop here, um, and uh, the uh, SCS Lowboy with uh, you know the uh, mod pack where we can put on Larry A's uh, mud flaps and uh, different lights and stuff. Although these ones aren't too different, and the, the checker plate and whatever it looks pretty cool. But Smarties truck, it's actually really nice. I like it. Uh, I love the vintage trucks, but I wasted a couple hours last night trying to paint it, and the template and everything else, it's, it's, I don't know, either I'm doing something wrong or it doesn't work right. Like, whatever you're trying to paint, there's fuel tank templates, you do it as an advanced skin, there's no place in the uh, accessories for the fuel tank templates. And so, uh, I don't know, maybe you got to put them under skins, I don't know, I'll try it, but they don't show up in uh, accessories, and they end up with blotches of paint all over. So, <laughs> they'll figure it out eventually and get a paint job on it, but anyway, for now, let's uh, hop in and get going. I like the little low air, little lollipop, it drops down. Got the windows down. Now, one thing I did, it's going to be a little loud for a while, uh, as I got the windows down, but uh, I put the Hall Scott engine in it. If you never heard of Hall Scott engines, uh, I've included a link to a, a video kind of funny because uh, you know I vaguely knew of them and uh, I remember my dad telling me about them in Hall Scott cars and, you know how good all this stuff was and uh, you know my dad's long gone now but uh, I was cruising on YouTube and I saw a uh, that video from Vizio Racer is, uh, I subscribed to and it was on the Hall Scott and so I watched it I guess that was last oh before Christmas I think so anyway when I saw that as an option in this truck I couldn't believe it so I chose that but it was a little under a little underpowered so I'm just pretending I got the turbocharged fuel-injected version that they made later on for the military. And put that in here. So I, in other words, I hopped that up a little bit. Not a whole lot. This makes it more drivable. A little better throttle response, it seems. Um, and it's a gas engine. Great big gas engine. I think it's 18 liters. And uh, the other thing I did is I uh, put a 13 speed in it from the uh, really fuller mod using the cast add on for uh, I don't have this screen going. I gotta remember, I got a 13 speed. I was trying to split the gears there. Right. After 
I was hoping to get the weight on here. It doesn't have it, but typically I think this load weighs um, 55,000 pounds. that one. So this is a really, uh, really nice drive that we're about to take here. We'll get the windows up. And uh, we're uh, heading south out of Salmon. And we're going to turn west and go through the uh, really beautiful drive to uh, catch him. I'm sure my wife and I, we took this drive once through Idaho a long time ago. And where we turn off, there's a, uh, a bunch of old, looks like, you know, mining equipment or something on the side of the road when we we're going to make our turn to the west. And we drove out into the, like, quite a distance to get to an old abandoned area where they used to do silver mining. It really reminds me, like, you know, it brings back memories. This area, this road. Remember, we were driving along. We had a, we were driving her, her little, uh, we'd just been married. Good. I had the uh, 62 Cadillac. So that was my daily driver. <laughs> and, uh, a, uh, she had a little Toyota Corolla. The two-door sporty one, and we were driving that, and she was driving at the point we went. We're on this highway, I'm pretty sure, heading uh, north. And these corners right here, I remember we're, we're whistling along, and she's a good driver. She's driving along at a reasonable rate of knots. And we came into these slow corners, and the first left-hand turn that we had, it was, uh, man. We just made it. <laughs> it was a good thing she was uh, pretty competent behind the wheel because we would have slammed into a rock face. But it was, it's, if you ever do get the chance to go to Idaho, this drive through this area and the, the park road we're gonna take, uh, it's pretty, pretty nice. And that drive out to Silver City, I believe that's what it was called, the old abandoned mine site, uh, was pretty neat. Yeah, Idaho is pretty cool. I think our right turn's coming up, not too much further ahead. Good looking old truck. Oh, try and stay on the road. After 100 yards, turn right. I think I'll just take the next right because there's no point in making two right turns so we can make one. Turn right. See all this old uh, equipment out there on the right? Kind of reminds. Uh, Turn right. Reminds me of what we were seeing up at Silver City. Oh, are you 
back on the road. I'm just gonna take a photo there, but no. Better get back to the business of driving. I've been, been following along lately and I've been having all this drama with my uh, 3D printer. I got it working now. It's actually working pretty good. So, the upgraded control board is really nice. So I'll be able to now can get back to finishing up some skins and that I've been working on got a whole bunch <laughs> that are partially done uh, this truck has uh, a few different interesting options for the suspension and chassis uh, one is the uh, air suspension which is pretty unique in the one I'm using, I believe, oh boy, I wonder if I can tell from, let's see if we can get in there and look, which one do I have in here, yeah, I don't, whoops, I don't think it's the air, air suspension, has the, sort of the high point drive like you would see on a um, Mac, with the uh, drive shaft going in above the differentials, and then a 90 degree drive down, and the pinion of the differential is vertical. Kind of an interesting diff. I believe that's the one I have in here. But I put a... The reason I changed the transmission is so I could get a good highway speed out of the truck. Uh, it's so scenic through here. It's really hard to hear this engine from outside. You really lose track of what you're doing. Slow down here for, I think the road's gonna be narrower. I think, let's see. Oh. No, no, it's not bad. Yeah, so if you're wondering, I do use uh, uh, eye tracker or head tracking. I'm using a Toby 5. Somebody was asking in a tail end of a video the other day, and I'm sorry about not getting to the comments uh, as quickly as I usually do. But I've just been prioritizing getting this printer going. And now that it is, I'm going to go back and catch up on the comments. And yeah, I use a Toby 5 with uh, the eye tracking turned off. I just use the head tracking component. And uh, I do have a video out on the settings I'm using. And I've updated one setting since the video was out. And that was the uh, in cabin pitch sensitivity. So, in other words, this up and down. I changed it from, I had it at a fairly conservative uh, 0.75. And I changed it to uh, 1.4. So if you check out the uh, tutorial, uh, you'd want to make that change to it. I'll have to put that in the description of the tutorial if I haven't already. But I really like it. Like, you know, I've, the, the settings I've got, like you can move your head around. and I've got a fair bit of uh, freedom to move just a little bit and look at gauges and things and then you know you got to make a more concerted effort to see the mirrors but it's not bad works really good and it's smooth so if you're using a toby uh and you're having problems with it could i mean it took me quite a while to get it to work to where i could actually enjoy it 
initially I thought, oh no, what have I done? This thing isn't so good. And uh, it's expensive. I thought I'd really wasted my money. But once you get it, it's really good. went to that uh, Craters of the Moon site too, I think I mentioned as we passed it in a video not that long ago, by Barb and I when we were down here. But I like Idaho, uh, I like the, uh, I grew up in the country and I like small towns, and, you know, I grew up near a small town, we weren't in town or anything, but, oh, just the pace of life and the sort of it's nice and uh, you know it was really um, really nice to uh, get out in the, in the small towns of Idaho were really interesting in the scenery and uh, sort of the dry dusty nature of it you know it was you, know, you could have just started filming a 1950s movie at any point in any of those towns we were in it was just really nice throwback this truck looks right at home driving through them so i hope uh, something happens with the template for this truck or the xml file or something I just pulled the XML file from the mod, and uh, maybe there's a better one out there that sorts out the fuel tanks and the sleeper. Ends up with paint all over it. I did, uh, so the sleeper, or sorry, the template seems to be one sided and it just presents the driver's side of the cab, but I was able to copy that and flip it and. Uh, put um, script on both sides of the both doors passenger and drivers successfully and it looks good but uh, there's just a whole bunch of stuff that's all over the place and uh, sure be nice to get that sorted out what I was doing I, last night that took me so long was I was making uh, yellow transit lines skin for it this is it is very a really uh, old one older than the one that the uh, bpm modding guys put on their fru off uh, trailer if you have that mod it comes with a pretty cool yellow transit line skin but there's an older one and i didn't want to repeat what they've done so i thought i would do a new skin for the truck and trailer of an older vintage and uh didn't happen. I didn't get to the trailer because I, I couldn't get the truck sorted. Uh, we'll, we'll work on it. Maybe I'll come up with another idea. But like I say, once again, we're going to have to sort out the, the, the painting of the truck. Well, we're almost there. that one entirely. There's a uh, uh, lack of turn signal sound in the cabin. Put the windows 
down. quite a reflection on the glass too. Uh, you'll see it's certain light conditions. I hope that gets addressed at some point. But it's, uh, you know, for a free mod, I really appreciate the effort. We can put it where they need it. This is usually a pretty tricky spot to get into. Yeah, Smarty says in his uh, description of the truck, this was the truck that ushered in the uh, long nose truck. This was the first. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go way over here. This was the first uh, long nose truck, really. Why? I wonder where the heck the parking spot is. Can't really see it. Wow. We'll have to take a look and get our bearings. Oh, we're not far enough away. <laughs> You gotta get way away from that elevator there. I wonder if I can see it now. Let's see. Oops. I wanna do that. I wanna look in that mirror. Yeah, I can sort of see it. Okay, well, let's try it. Doesn't sound like we have a backup beeper. I have no idea when I gotta start turning into there, but we're gonna hit that other trailer. Oops! <laughs> Doing the wrong thing here. Yeah. Kind of messed it up, but we didn't run into the elevator yet. Oh, let's see what do I want to do. I've got to think about this. I think I need to. Oops. Go like this. Nope. Now oh, we're going to get ourselves in a heap of trouble with this elevator. That's what I was kind of worried about. Yeah, I turned too soon. I think what I'll do is I'll just finish it up from out here. Because uh, we'll make the video go too long. Uh, missed the elevator. That's always a worry with this parking spot. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little truck. It looks good with the Smarty 5-hole Alcoa's on here. Thought I'd better use his uh, wheels using his truck. It's not everybody who does trucks that has a, uh, a wheel mod too. A BPM come to mind. Love their Dayton's. I'll try and tidy this up a little bit. <laughs> a little more like we care. Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, we'll finish up and then we'll take a look at the truck again. Hundred and forty four gallons, wow. Only six hundred bucks. It's probably fairly uh a little more realistic than some of the uh <laughs> some of the uh paydays you get in the game. But uh, yeah, so I've got the 1949 version of the truck here, and they got the old Peterbilt, uh, the original plaque on it, not the oval, but you can't put it on, but it didn't come out really until the 351 is when that came out. But I think this truck was in production at the same time as the 351 for, for a while, and it's got a different, I think the later version, the 50, what is it? 55 or 6 or whatever they have in here it has or 54 it's got a bigger front window I think the different window frame and uh, you know various differences but um, yeah it's gonna be neat when uh, when we can paint it I'm looking forward to that day so yeah anyway cool truck great mod price is well awesome it's free <laughs> anyway, thanks for following along, guys, as always, and I appreciate your, uh, you know, following along, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, and bye for now. Mm -hmm.